Hey everybody, Jackson Evans here from Benedetto Guitars, live at our headquarters in Savannah, Georgia. It is the week of the Savannah Jazz Festival, and we are very, very lucky to have Benedetto artist Randy Napoleon here with us. He's visiting from Michigan. He plays with um, Freddie Cole, among others, and is one of my personal heroes. So I'm super, super psyched to have him on the other side of my phone here. Um, he's going to play a little bit for you while we get things, while we get an audience put together. Um, if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, complaints, just questions. If you guys have questions, go ahead and ask away in the comments. I will see them and ask them of him. Um, so let me flip you guys around so you can see Randy. Oh, look at that. There you are, Randy. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you, Jackson. Um, why don't you play a little bit for us while we gather some people to uh, to uh, ask questions and play too? Most comfortable. <laughs> seat in the world right now. This is pretty cool. 
Um, just a reminder, just so for those of you that missed my intro, since people are starting to come in, this is Randy Napoleon. My name's Jackson Evans. We are live at Benedetto Guitars in Savannah, Georgia. If you guys have questions, go ahead and hit them in the comments, and as they pop up, I can ask Randy. Um, in the meantime, Randy, why don't you tell us um, about your guitar? What, what model is that you're playing? This is a Benedetto Bravo Deluxe, and uh, it goes against everything that I thought I knew and believed about archtop guitars, which is, I've always been a believer in, uh, you know, giant full-size archtops with floating pickups, carved tops, uh, which of course are wonderful tools, and, you know, as you've probably figured out, I, I love straight-ahead jazz, and that's the kind of physical object that I associate with that music. This guitar, as you can see, is, is quite a bit thinner, um, and a little bit uh, it's 16 inch body, right? Mm -hmm. um, 16 inch body, and uh, it has a laminate top and an inset pickup. So basically, it's everything I never thought that I would do, um, and I love it. Uh, I can play an organ gig with this, and uh, it's not going to start woofing or feeding back. And you know, I also can play solo guitar on it, and it sounds uh, really natural. So I love it. Cool. Yeah. I love my Bravo too. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you sound wonderful playing it. That's one of my favorite parts of your playing is the the tone you get and your touch. And that's I think that's something that's overlooked in the teaching of jazz these days is mm. dealing with tone and touch and and being careful about your sound. So I appreciate that you do that. And I think a lot of our a lot of our uh, Benedetto fans do because it's all about the tone, right? Definitely. Um, you want to play another tune for us? Sure. Sweet. Uh...
Thing I, I, one of the things I really love about your playing is how deliberate you are rhythmically. Oh, you, you don't seem to be guessing on any of that. Your phrasing is beautiful. Oh, and your time is great. Um, Peter says, great. Hello, Peter. Uh, if you guys are out there, uh, make a comment, say hello, uh, check in. Uh, we'd love to give you a shout out and say hi. Um, again, I'm here with Randy Napoleon. Um, he's playing tonight at 6 o'clock in Forsyth Park in Savannah. So if you're local, come on down and hear the show. Um, what are you guys going to play? Uh, some stuff off my last record and uh, a couple things to be determined. So Okay. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk down the set Ooh. in a couple hours. Tell us about your band. I, I met some of those guys at the airport. Um, yeah. Well, it's, it's like the greatest band of all time for me. Um, <laughs> And we've never played together, the four of us, but it's kind of combining uh, two of my musical families, Quentin Baxter, um, who plays drums in Freddie Cole's band. So we've been on the road for the last uh, couple of years since he joined the group. And uh, he's a, you know, out and out master, uh, subtle, fire, all sorts of styles and colors, just a really brilliant drummer who See, actually lives down here in, in right. uh, Charleston. Ben Benedetto fans would be familiar with, with him. He's been playing the um, the uh, Minor Family Wines uh, Benedetto Cabernet release in Napa for the last several years. Oh, yeah. Um, so Quentin and then uh, two of my colleagues from Michigan State University where I teach, um, uh, Mr. Xavier Davis is playing piano, and, you know, of course he's well known to jazz fans across the world and you know he got to start playing with Freddie Hubbard and Betty Carter and people like that and uh, um, uh, just incredible writer and, and musician and uh, and then the the fourth member of the group is, is kind of my role model and mentor Rodney Whitaker uh, you know who of course uh, is a alumnus of uh, everyone everyone it would be much easier to uh, yeah, list right. the people he hasn't played right, with. Right, So, uh, but we've never all played together, so I've played a lot with each of them, but not too much uh, with uh, all of them together. So that's it. Maybe I'll uh, try another tune here. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah. That was beautiful, Randy. So, um, our new friend Brittany rang the doorbell while you were playing that tune. <laughs> Brittany, right? Yes, Brittany. Yes, Brittany's visiting from Chicago. She stopped by to buy a Benedetto pick from the gear store. And it's Brittany's lucky day. She gets to join in on this lovely little small concert that Randy's giving. Um, do you have time for one more tune? Of course. Yeah. Cool. Um, so last call for questions for Randy. If you guys have questions, uh, hit them in the comments. If you want to say hi, chime in. Um, if you're local, come down to Forsyth Park tonight at 6 o'clock. The Jazz Festival goes all night uh, with the jam session ending uh, from 11 to 1 at the mansion on Forsyth Park. Um, and then there's live music all day tomorrow in the park as well. Um, our president, Howard Paul, is also the president of the Jazz Festival, so we're highly invested in it. That's why we have our artist, Randy Napoleon, uh, in town for this. Um, what you got for us, Randy? What do you, what do you, what do you want to play? Boy, it's hard when I gotta think of tunes. Uh, do you want to? Can I make a request? Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Savannah is the birthplace of Johnny Mercer, and so, and I know because I love your last record that you did Moon River on it. Sure, I could, of course, do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let me, uh, think. think. Solo is always a, a little bit of a challenge. Uh. <laughs>
Yeah. I can't believe that I requested that and and you were like, yeah, I guess I can do it solo. You clearly know that tune. Oh, thanks. That was that was really beautiful. I appreciate you humoring my request. Um, uh, Fernando and Jorge say hello. Um, Kevin Lissero is um, uh, someone commented that that you might be classically influenced because you're playing finger style, and it looks like he thinks it's interesting that you use your thumb and rest your thumb and and use your fingers. Uh, how did you develop that that style? That was. Uh... Well, you know, as we know, times economically are very tough, and guitar picks really start adding up. So I saved maybe seven dollars and fifty cents a year by not uh, supporting the pick industrial complex. Um, no, I'm just kidding. That's a, that's a great answer. I, I love like it. the I like the sound. I like the sound. So I started playing with a pick, and I'd be frustrated with my tone, and so I decided to figure out what I could do with my fingers. I don't really have a classical background. Um, I do some things differently than classical guitarists. One thing is I don't have any nails. Actually, right now I do have a little bit of nails, which is causing me some trouble. But uh, uh, I will clip them as soon as I'm done with this. So I like the I like the sound of the flesh on the string. I love Wes Montgomery, and you know I want it. But this is almost the same. It's the same. So I just. just see how much I could how much I could get going with that and so it kind of uh, I don't know I morphed over and I, and I just I threw the picks out I'll still use them if I'm playing some some funk or a true like uh, big band gig where you know you need the, the pick to play Freddie Green and really get that sound but most things I can get with my fingers wow. sometimes I think it's crazy I don't have fast articulation the way I would like and the way you know some of my favorite players who play with picks do projection can sometimes be an issue but i like for me the trade-off's worth it so oh you have a beautiful sound um you play beautifully i want to say thank you so much for coming in i really appreciate it um we're gonna send randy off to have a little rest before his set tonight and clip his nails he's got to do that <laughs> yeah i'm very dainty I he's uh, a uh yeah he's dainties. tired from flying <laughs> in his his arms are tired because he yeah. flew in from from uh, detroit this morning um, so again, thank you, and um, thank you, uh, I'm going to post this up on our face, uh, Facebook, Benedetto Guitars. Uh, you can also check us out at BenedettoGuitars.com, and uh, we'll see you down at the park later tonight. Awesome.